<clears throat> hey folks, um, obviously I don't usually start the video with, a, with an intro but the video you're about to see was recorded back in October. Um, as I'm recording this I am in another hotel which there will be a video for um, on Valentine's Day, so February. So it's been almost, it's been about four months um, since the last uh, last video. Reasons, um, one of the main reasons is in this video that you're about to watch um, it features my dog Meg, who you've met before. Um, but two weeks after this uh, video was taken and we lost Meg. Um, Meg had to go to sleep uh, for the last time and it kind of done me in really um, and I'm still not over it really um, but um, yeah and so and so this video has kind of been sitting there completed um, for for a long time really um, but it's only recently I felt like I could look at it and I think because of the association with that video it's had a knock-on effect to the video so I've you know I've still been coming into London I've still been staying places but I just haven't haven't um, felt um, like doing um, the vids um, but I'm trying to kind of snap myself out of it I'm trying to get back into some sort of routine um, so yeah so we're doing we're doing a video tonight um, but I just thought I'd just intro this one just to kind of give you um, you know if anyone is even noticed and um, give some sort of reasoning as to why there haven't been any videos so I'll, I'll crack on with them um, and they'll be as bad as always but um, anyway go check out um, a cabin on the lake so this is what we've booked oh here comes a dog she's looking for me um, this is this is what we've booked only here for a couple of days uh, off the top of my head 450 quid um, we are in as it says on the sign, Craw Crawford Lakes, which is in Devon. It's kind of quite close to the North Cornwall, so we're on the kind of border there. Um, something you'll notice immediately is like all these bugs. Look at all these flies hanging around. It's uh, what are you going to do, right? You're on a lake. So in the mornings, it gets incredibly wet on the deck, so it gets really slippery and all condensation, so you can't see anything out the windows, you can't see anything through these little screens, but in a few hours it will clear up, don't you worry. Oh, we have a guard dog. Hey Meg, can we come in and look around? What do you reckon? You think so? Okay. So here it is. So we've still got a couple of things to put away, but we're pretty much packing it. So let me just kind of show you around a little bit. So we've got an incredibly uncomfortable sofa um, that is also a sofa bed. This is the start of the show. Nice little chair for reading and putting your feet up and things like that. It starts to hurt after a little while, but that's that's okay. It's still pretty comfy. Um, a radiator that does a really good job at heating up the whole place. Kitchen area. It's really cool that we have an oven. We have a hob with an old school kettle, which takes like 15 minutes to boil. Toasters, a really nice touch, but Damn it, we forgot the bagels. What are you going to do? Um, I've decimated this, but I've shown you this earlier on. So we can kind of come back and see that. Also a bunch of tea and coffee. So as per usual, we got Nescafe and PG tips. What's nice is we got some decaf. And then we got some fancy shit. We got some clippered green tea. We got some clipper lemon and ginger. And we got some clipper berry boost which is which is pretty cool the dishes oh man uh, they didn't give us any kitchen roll all right let me just press pause 
All right, where were we? We were looking at these, right? So they've provided us with some really nice crockery, some nice plates, some nice dishes, some nice mugs, it's all matching. Look at that. But it is incredibly heavy. So you need to work out before lunch, etc, etc. Um, yeah, the cafetier. That's disappointing for me. If I'd known they were providing us with a cafetier, I would have brought coffee. But they... What do you have to? Um, but they but they didn't, so I didn't bring coffee. That's a shame. Um, what have we got in here? Complimentary. Eggs, bacon, sausage, juice, milk. We brought the rest. Those are some macarons. Mm -mm -mm. What do you think? You like it? You're like, yeah, just fine. Provided some glasses. Um, there might be one less glass for reasons. Um, and then wine glasses and champagne glasses by the looks of it. A wide array of cutlery, which currently is mostly spoons. And then we have a table and chairs and not much room for your legs. It's a really cramped fit. I'm fairly average. My wife is slim and she struggled to get in there comfortable as well. Oh look, Scrabble. We played this last night. That's the scores. I won. Right. Here's one of the negatives, a door that doesn't stay closed. That's pretty annoying. But here's the bedroom, a slightly smaller than normal double bed. It is pretty soft, pretty comfortable, and the pillows are not bad either. However, maybe a little bit too plump. Bed test. Already slept on it twice. It's really bouncy, really kind of soft. Um, not a spring in the whole bed. And yeah, the pillows are kind of dense, like I said. Quite firm. Probably only need one, don't need two. Got a TV in the room. Got one, two, three, four, five hangers, possibly. A window that can never be opened. And a nice table lamp quite, quite a small bathroom but you know what you're gonna do we're on like a lot of floating lodge that's the that's the shower has very little pressure so it just gets you wet but you know maybe that's all you maybe that's all the shower needs to do mirror hi everyone sink toilet and a window that can never be opened. Extract the fan. And a big pile of towels that Maggie tried to make a home in. It's about 10.30. And this this is the view from, from the cabin. From the doorway. You'll hear some tip tapping. That's the dog. Yeah, a couple of people, but apart from that, very quiet. Every now and again, you see a fish flop up and down in the water. But you're already in your bed, aren't you? You're waiting for your for your big walk. Oh yeah, so I've shown you the view from the deck. I haven't actually shown you the deck. So we've got a nice table and chairs. Um, with a, an ashtray if you're a loser and smoke um, but that's that's, a, that's about it really um, I think that's like a fishing gate and um, that you can get kind of unlock and I don't know fish I suppose so we got, a, we got a couple of ciders sun is about to set all in all 
I know we've seen this view before because this is the view from the cabin but all in all we've picked a really lovely day to, to do this all I've done is just sat and read a book and just listened to nothing just the fishies popping their heads up and the birds flip flapping around look at my little friend look at little Maggie with us today so what I thought I would do on this lovely morning is maybe go for a walk whilst nobody is around it's like five past seven in the morning wildlife I can hear it um, but yeah thought we'd just go for a little walk around I might take the I might take the dog with me oh look there goes a heron for those of you that have not met her before this is my bestie Meg 17 years old a little bit deaf a little bit blind has heart issues, has liver issues on medication for the rest of her little life but look at her, still going strong still the best dog I haven't actually been up here but I'll give you an idea of the different kind of cabins so you've just seen the blue ones or hopefully by the time I kind of put all this together you've seen the inside and you've seen the outside this is Buzzard Lake by the looks of it. So these were the other cabins that we were looking at. Um, we were gonna, we really liked, I'm not sure if you can see, I don't really like filming people's houses and all. That's not exactly what it is. But we really liked the swinging chairs that they've got just here. But we deemed that this lake wasn't nice enough. So we plumped for that lake instead. Um, that's an okay lake, it's a nice colour, but it's not very big. Yeah, this is the flooring. So you're going to hear some crunching, I can't do anything about that, I'm afraid. Okay, so what we've got here, which is nice, um, there's a fire pit. Hi, some squirrels in the tree, messing around with nuts, I can hear them. Anyway, these are, these are, I think these are just called pods, I think. Um, so, I fear that they're quite cold because they're quite thin. Very much a glamping type deal experience. But I think they look quite fun. But they get cold in the winter. We're in October now. Early October. So, I, I would imagine there's a chill in the air. That's us. That's where we're staying. We're in a place called Clawford Lakes. Um, you know what, I couldn't actually point to her on a map, um, but we're in Devon. Um, we're just on the, quite close to the border with Cornwall. We were in Cornwall yesterday, um, and now obviously Devon, Devon today. So it is a bunch of lakes. Lots of people come here fishing. Lots of people come here to do activities such as kayaking, and I don't know, outdoor swimming. I don't know. You can rent some bikes, I think. But but we just came here to just sit on a deck and to look at a lake and to do nothing. And it was ace. Here's lake number two. Well, lake number three, isn't it? Lodge Lake, Buzzard Lake. What's this lake? Mallard Lake. So be interesting if there's any mallards. I'll be honest, been here two days, I've not seen one. Coming up to Woodpecker Lake. Yeah, when the little stones weren't enough. And I'll hit you with big stones. I think these are the orchard lodges. Slightly bigger. Maybe more for families and things like that. A lake for beginners, like I said. Kind of a fishing lake, so maybe they just 
Throw some stuff in here. I can see the water rippling, so there's definitely things living in there. Yeah. Well, I noticed yesterday, and why I don't feel bad walking between the two here, is that a lot of these are empty. We're in off season, obviously, like I said, October. As you can tell by the lack of cars. But there's plenty of them. Um, I forget prices. So I can't remember if these were more expensive or less expensive than where I'm staying. Um, I remember these have, I think these are the ones with a hot tub on the deck, but you know, we're not, we're not really hot tub people. So if we continue walking this way, that building just ahead of us here is the bar and restaurant. We had some food there last night. Eating some incredibly expensive pizza. It was okay. It was obviously, if I'm paying 15 pounds for pizza, I want it to be out of this world, but it really wasn't, it was average. It was average, but they tried. It also had some cocktails in there, but unlike the pizza, I think the price on them was, was pretty standard. But what I learnt from looking at the restaurant menu, if you can, bring your own food. You have an oven, you have a hob in the apartment. Well, we do anyway. I'm assuming these ones possibly do too. It'll just save you so much money. Just to kind of cook, make it a self-catering holiday. It's nice to go to a bar, get somebody to cook for you for the experience. Um, talking of experience, when we were in there last night, um, it was a bar fight, a dog bar fight. So it was crazy, it was loud, it was, it was just like you see in cartoons. You know, just like all dogs running into a pile of dust. And just seeing paws just flying everywhere, woofing and howling and barking. Chaos, it was chaos. And then silence. Well, everyone grabbed their dogs and got the hell out of there, apologising for the trouble. So this is the main sort of area. Right there you have a bulls area, the bulls are actually still out. I think sometimes they put out... What's this? Badminton. Um, but I've never seen a net. Unless they take it in, but every time I've come over the net's not been there. This is Leisure Lake where all the activities take place. So I've talked about kayaking. You're obviously looking at paddle boarding and he does say that you can just go in there for a swim, but that's pretty nuts, isn't it? But then some people are nuts. Here's some more of the apartments. Um, and these ones are apartments. So there's an upstairs and there's a downstairs, I think, with these ones. Lots of different options. We'll look at this from around the side, but this is the spa. So that area there, that's where the swimming pool is, so it's facing the lake. So I go swimming in the freezing cold lake. When well, you can go in the swimming pool, right? Car park. Yeah, the lake spa. So lots of lots of spa treatments. I think they're missing a trick by not having a dog spa. So all the humans having their treatments, a dog can get some fuss in as well. I think they're missing a real trick there. But yeah, facials and manicures and all the things that come with a spa that I'm not never been exposed to. I, I don't I don't know what it is. Um, there's a sauna in there too. I'm not sure if that is a free for all. Same with the swimming pool. I'm not sure if you have to pay for that. Um, we didn't really do our research coming here to see what we were entitled to. Um, but that's the spa. All right, well, I walked up this way yesterday and it was a dead end because I was I was intrigued by Snake Lake. But We'll go up and we can have a little peep. A little smaller than ours, by the looks of it. Heading back to the floating cabin. Fine, the floating lodge. I always say it wrong. To me, it's a cabin. There's Heron Lake just above there. Again, it's misty. 
some nice reeds. We've only seen one frog, which uh, has been a shame. I was looking forward to seeing some frogs. It's quite a nice little relaxing getaway. You can do the activities if you want to. I don't want to. But it's nice just to kind of take the dog and just walk around, walk around the lake, knowing that you have bought the wrong footwear and now your socks and your feet are going to be wet all day because you're walking, walking in the dewy grass. <laughs> but sometimes maybe your feet needs to touch the dew. So that was a little tour. We didn't do everything. There's a little bit you know, further along there, but to be honest, it's the same sort of cabins anyway. So it's not anything, I'm not showing you anything that you haven't already seen. So yeah, it's quiet. I didn't see anybody on the walk. It's not, it's not a cheap, it's not a cheap experience, but like I said, it's the anniversary, so we'll, we'll, we'll pay for an experience, you know, but worth considering. So that's the stay at Clawford Lakes in the floating lodges on Lodge Lake. So like I said, it's a, it's a special occasion. It's a, it's an anniversary, it's a big anniversary. Um, and so we, we kind of put, put our hands in our pockets a little bit. So this was 452 pounds for two nights. Um, and that's actually, a, you know, like a 200 pounds offer um, as well. So it's usually about 650. So um, I'll leave it up to you whether you think that's worth it or not. I think that for a getaway, it's really nice to have this, you know, as as your window, if you like. You step outside and this is the first thing you see. I've really enjoyed that aspect of it, actually. Would we do it again? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. 450 is quite steep for two nights. You can get a lot for 450 and you can go to different places. So I think that's what we would do. Explore Britain more but it's absolutely not a perfect stay there are things wrong with it there some of it you kind of give us you, you give a slight pass to because it's literally on a lake you're in nature so you know yes lots and lots of flies um, lots of spider webs and things like that I think the one thing on that regard that is sort of not forgivable is the amount of spider webs inside and the amount of dust that's inside it's clear um, that they haven't um, they haven't dusted in there for a long time. A long time. The sliding door is a bit of a negative. Um, it's it's just a it's just a drag, you know, because there's you know the digital world, lots of lights being on. I don't know, and sometimes you just want that extra little bit of privacy to be able to kind of just shut the door, even though it's only the two of you and the dog. Um, I think it could do, this is, this is just a little thing, um, I think this light blue, let me turn it around just for a sec. See so, you know, this is a bit grubby like, so it just needs a wipe, and I, I know nature, you know, outdoors, what are you going to do? But I think it just needs a bit of a clean, and, and part of me wonders, further up the lake, um, the, the lodges are dark blue, and I wonder whether that is a response to this, because it does look pretty bad. But the biggest mystery is if we're in floating lodge number two, what the hell happened to floating lodge number one? It's a mystery. We won't solve it today, folks. We won't solve it today. So other negatives. Yeah, the bed was small. Um, we're lucky, you know, Rick, my wife and I, and we're, we're not the largest of people, you know, so so we made use. But I did fall out of bed that first night. So that's 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 my fault. There's no space for things either. It could be quite cramped. Um, so we brought food with us, but there's nowhere to put it. You know, we've got a fridge, of course, but you know, we brought cans of beans and things like that. So there's nowhere to put them. It's had to stay in a bag, and we've had to tuck it under the under the really uncomfortable sofa that we got. And as much as they give you things, they gave us a complimentary breakfast. So, which was really good, actually. There's no complaints about that. It was some of the nicest sausages I've had in a long time. But they don't give you anything to kind of season it with, so there's no salt, there's no pepper, there's no sauces. But the quality of the food they provided was really good, so just little touches. They're almost there, you know, but if you're paying this much money for stuff, you kind of want it to be almost perfect. 
Um, I mentioned on the walk as well about um, the cost of the restaurant. So advice from me would be to not pay £15 for a pizza over there. Go to your local supermarket, pay four quid, do it in the oven, sorted, no problem. But maybe pop over there for a cocktail. The prices on the cocktails are okay. So that's it. What about the checkout? We've got one more little bit of adventure um, ahead of us. We're going to visit Cheddar Gorge, but you know, this isn't a video about Cheddar Gorge, right? You know, just as it's not a video about where we went yesterday, which was um, Tintagel. Um, but if you're lucky, maybe I'll put in 10 seconds of a view here. There you go edge of the world edge of the world but yeah just nice to kind of spend some time with my wife spend some time with the dog to go somewhere where the dog can actually come as a fish jumps up to say goodbye we're off to check out claw food lakes in devon 450 pounds not bad depends what you want i kind of liked it they can do better but overall decent and with a view of the lake, that's it. Back to London next week. Back to London. Alright, take care everyone. Bye bye. It's annoying. Now we're checking out, all the flies have gone. Ugh, never mind. Oh, look who it is. Ready for home.